pretty good end-to-end -end action here. This is a two-on-one situation. Leslie and Emmons. Emmons, whoa, he's going to wait a little bit, get Evans to go down. A perfect pass back to Leslie, who scored last night. That's a groin pulling save right there. What a terrific save by Ribnak. Focus on the right side of his body. He's got to move now from his left and get that leg going all the way to the right. Great save by Jim Ribnak. We've seen two great ones in this period. One by Robbins earlier on, I believe it was on number 23 of Kansas City, tying him up in front of his goaltender, Jim Ribnak. And from that defensive play by Brad Wierenka, the Milwaukee Admirals flew up the ice. And I think Dobbin clearly thought that he was in all alone, and he was. I'm not sure if he realized that it was offside. Here's a good look at Mazarov. Here's the outlet pass. Mike Tomlack now bounces off Joyce. It's still inside. Did, oh, he's offside on the yeah, far yeah. side. I think Milwaukee was saying, no, it hit their guy, so it no. It, it, it delegates the two-line offside, but clearly he was saved. And keeping Kansas City in the lead right now, Anytime you can end a period on a big save, that's a real huge positive. Herkus, nice little pass. That's Gino Cavallini. That huh? How come you guys can go to the moon, but you can't make it? And then with seconds to go in the second period, this Hail Mary pass on the power play, no less. Mark Freer headed out of the zone prematurely. Jim Kite said, I'm not buying it. I'm going to stand in. And he ripped one that may have gone off Carl Valamont's skate, but it got by Troy Gamble. So we've got a horse race for you in the third. And then Mark Richards decides to test him. Evan Deneen involved in that and a chance to take a look at a National Hockey League's player's perspective. Coached in Regina, he said this morning, they went into Medicine Hat and he came in angry and every coach at one time or another has kicked the trash can. He hauled off with a giant boot to the trash can that was a big solid trash can cemented to the floor and it broke his big toe. He went boom, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> That was the end of that. Yeah, talk. that's not the first time. Uh, you got to be careful what you're striking here. Mike Freer on the free. Got him. Yeah, it sure Good got job, him. All right. Good job. Ouch. Welcome back. The cut Chris doesn't hurt. Up. It's the impact of the jawbone. Look at the swelling already. That thing's coming out. Well, the one thing that you know when you get a Deneen person on your team. I mean, all the playing brothers, they've got unlimited guts and unlimited courage, and they are tough. He stood right in front of that shot to make the block. Cleared out of the zone. Most other games going on in the International Hockey League, a couple of them, with Case Freer on the faceoff win. Hapshide. The faceoff will be just inside the line of the arrows. Chris McSorley sent Mark Hapshide over to talk to the referee, and I don't know about what, but he said, go and talk to him. Talk to him now. And those approaches seldom reap any benefits. And this one falls into that category. Nice tie, though. Love that tie. Isn't that a save the children's tie? I think is what he's got on. I think it's a save the children's tie. After kids' drawings, they make these ties up, and the money goes to the save the children's fund. If I'm correct on that. And Sean, even if you're not, it's a great story. Behind the net, four on four situation. Hamshide, far side, Hamshide a step, the tie, save! He looked behind him, but he made the save. Troy Gamble. Gamble did the 360, talk about a head on a swivel, but the puck was in front of him. Cleared out of the zone on side the other way. Mackborn waiting. Mackborn centering pass, knocked away. Good play, Ken Quinney. On that pass. Freer coming the other way. Freer moving. He can skate. Freer waiting. Freer's got Arneal. Arneal! Shot and a save made by Reddick. What a great play, though, by those two. Great pass by Freer right on the tape at Arneal. Tough situation. Got the shot off. Young two on one. Young coming. Arneal's with him. Young shot. Save. Rebound deep. Freer. Freer centering pass. Never got there. Intercepted. Frank well, Evans moved in and intercepted the centering pass. The penalties all are over now. That was actually a power play chance. Freer by Lenny Hatborn. Boy, he, he had two guys to contend with, and he still turned the puck over and fed it out to Maurice. Some people call me Maurice. Watch it here. Look at Hatborn, number 15 in white. He stripped both guys of the puck, got it out to Maurice. Heads up play by Pokey Reddick, though. He was absolutely ready for the shot, even that quickly. 
And Maurice had no choice but to try to go high on him. Not much to shoot at. Maurice for the Thunder, but not for long. Gallimont got it out. Thunder have to clear the zone. Jakes goes back to get it. Jake oh. has intercepted, shot and a save made by Gamble as Black had it put right on his stick by the opposing team. Jimmy Black was on the legs, though. Sent it in right along the ice. Look in a second. We'll tell you when to look. James Black wide open in the slot. Boom. Jakes put it on his stick. Troy Gamble was there for the save, so no harm done. She can look now. Yep, you can look, Lynn. The coast is clear. There you see Las Vegas piling up the players regrouping all over the place. Evans can't handle it. Freer was there. Freer has picked up two goals in this game for the Arrows. Intercepted down low. Chitteroni. Back hail. Short in the crease. Thunder tried to argue this one, but they have stopped now. Great hustle by Mario Cittaroni. Turned one over just outside the blue line, and Bob Strum looked on and thought that the Vegas Thunder had dodged the bullet until Mario got his own rebound. Watch this. There was a good defensive play that knocked it off his stick, I think, right in front there by Jimmy Kite with his long reach, but Cittaroni stayed with it and actually backhanded it out front, and then help came with, I don't know, Scott O'Neill or Mark Freer. One of them had a chance to jam it in, but it was Cittaroni all the way that kept the thing alive, started it, and then kept it alive when it looked like it had died. We'll see who they give credit to. Freer's got a down to the arrows. Winds up and takes it. Pokey ready for save, chipped away by Maurice. Young on the far side, hitting Andrew McBain. Now the Thunder with 6.40 to go really got the charge, which did give some odd man rush opportunities to the Houston Arrows. Zadorowski going. 